Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Um, today I'm going to show you a really, really easy way to do a theme, a, you know, Halloween, it could be any um, holiday really, um, just depending on what colors you use. But this one's going to be super simple for you if you don't have a lot of time or you're not into doing, you know, overly complicated designs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to paint my nails first with this orange color from Finger Paints. It's called Tangerine Tint. This color is going to make a couple of appearances this month since it's uh, one of the only real oranges that I've got. Um, and it really is perfect for Halloween. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my nail just half of it. I'm going to do this half and half. I know I love to do my color blocking and that's pretty much what we're going to do here today. So I'm going to paint half and if it's not exactly perfect that's okay because we're going to be painting the other half. Okay, so now that the orange has dried for just a minute and I've got it on the rest of my fingers now too, we're going to go back in with the black. This is Ebony Hates Chris from Wet n Wild Fast Dry and do basically the same thing. We're just going to go, only this time what we're going to do is really try to take the brush and really try just to keep your hand as steady as you can and paint down the center and then fill in the side. If your hands are not steady or, you know, you're not confident that you can paint a straight line down the center of your hand, um, you can always use, wait till the orange completely dries and then scotch tape um, down the center of your hand and then, you know, or center of your finger now and then paint, you know, according to that guideline. Or you can use a really thin brush and draw a line down the middle with like a striper brush or something and then fill it in, um, but whatever way works for you. Okay, so now that these are mostly dry, we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be making some dots. And I have the set from Born Pretty Store, and I don't know if the colors are consistent from set to set, but mine is the white one that I'm going to be using, which is one of the middle ones. It's, it's probably actually this, the size that's exactly in the middle of the set. And what I'm going to do is take the, the orange polish, same orange polish and drop some polish on a plate to do some dotting. And what I'm going to do is just take the orange polish and make a line of dots and I'm going to try to make the dots the same size going down and try to make them evenly spaced. The, honestly, if you have trouble with dotting, the key is you got to take your time sometimes. If you try to hurry too much, they end up not the right size or they're you know, they become kind of blobs, they're not really circles, so take your time and gentle touch because, the, you know, the more you press, the bigger the dot's going to be, so you just got to kind of try and control it that way, okay? So once you have the orange dots, you're going to do the same now with the black. Drop some black, whoops, on the plate and try to keep the dots about the same size and the same evenly spaced so that each side sort of matches the other. Okay? So I'm going to do that to the rest of my nails and I'm going to put a top coat on that and come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so there it is with all the top coat on all the nails. It's the final look. I really hope you like this one. I, I actually like it because it is so simple and it's so easy to do. It doesn't take much time at all. And, you know, it's got a nice impact. In fact, even if I back it up, I mean, it's really eye-catching. So, anyway, you can choose, you know, even in, like, come Christmas time and stuff, you can mix up your red and green. I mean, different color combinations will fit any holiday. But, yep, that is the final look. I hope you like it, and we'll see you next time. Bye.